Well, 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 I have received a lot of emails and a lot of WhatsApp messages, probably 1000 plus after we made that video on biotech government job. And after getting that, after seeing all the response, all the great responses I received from all of you and all the questions which I'm receiving, I thought, okay, I'll make a part two, a sequel of this particular video so that I can give you some more tips, tricks and ideas on how to get biotech government jobs in India. Okay. So in the last video, I already told you about the three, three types of jobs. You have three to four types and you can get. But now let's look at how can you get it, right? The first thing which comes in my mind is information. You know, getting a government job is all about information because many times information does not reach. It doesn't reach you. You don't, you're not aware. You will not apply and then somebody else gets it. Okay. That's the truth of government jobs. And that is why we have Biotechnica. If you want to stay up to date with latest information, what kind of government jobs are coming in the biotech sector, then you have to subscribe to Biotechnica. Stay subscribed. Keep looking at the notifications which keeps coming. We inform you through WhatsApp, through Telegram, as well as email newsletter. And all these three are free. So you can just subscribe to all any of these and you can get all this information and stay up to date. When you are up to date, up to date with all the information which is coming from the government sector, say Silk Board has got a, a vacancy, say ASRB has released a notification, say BRC has not released a notification. Now, you need a place where you can go to and check all of that and apply, right? And that is Biotechnica. So the first tip of the day which I want to give you is stay up to date with the latest opportunities which is coming and apply as soon as possible. Now, the second one is prepare well for the selection process. And to know what is the selection process, you'll have to do some research, right? So you can comment below what kind of uh, jobs, which particular job you are trying to apply for. And I will create sec next video on the selection process in these departments. Okay. So you have to be aware of the selection process. You have to, you know, prepare well for the selection process. And generally, in general, the selection process is like you have to apply first and then there will be an exam and then there will be a personal interview and then probably there can be a technical round with the scientists and then finally they give you an appointment letter. So this is how it works. Now many times people think that it is all fixed and they will ask for bribe. No, it's not true. In today's era, they don't do that. Maybe in the past era, they used to, but it has become minimal to some extent. And if that is happening to you, let me know so that we can raise our voices against that. Okay, so that's the second point. Prepare well for the selection process. Now, the third part is building a strong academic profile. Okay, now basically government always or the people in the government all are always looking for someone who is knowledgeable, right? So you'll, ha you'll have to accumulate a lot of certificates, a lot of internships, a lot of hands-on, a lot of projects you should have handled. You should have worked on some exemplary uh, projects at some great institutions. So all that matters. Okay. In private sector doesn't, but in government certificates matter, uh, your skill set matters and uh, they're going to look at the reputation of the organization where you work. So all this matters. Okay. So uh, you have to make sure that you build a very strong academic profile. You can start with uh, online certifications and online internships and slowly transition into multiple things. And also here, what works is they should know you by face. So, you know, you have to do a lot of PR for yourself. Like you have to do a lot of self-branding through LinkedIn and other stuff so that people know you even before you apply. So that's something you should know. Building a strong academic profile is a must if you want a government job. Okay. Let's move on to the fourth point. The fourth point is gaining relevant experience. Now, suppose you're applying in silk board, but you don't have any experience on working on silk worms, then obviously you're not going to get through. So this is where it comes. Whatever might be your target department, start gaining relevant experience, maybe as a contractual position, JRF, SRF, or maybe pursuing your PhD in that direction so that whenever there is a vacancy, when you apply, that particular relevant experience will come handy. And that is where the recruitment board will look at your experience in your expertise and somebody else who has not got enough experience, you will get a preference. So that is where gain relevant experience to get through the interview process. Now let's move on to the next point. The next point is network with the right government officials. Now this is very, very crucial. Why it is so? Because, you know, uh, many a times in government, when you know people, it works. Okay, so that referrals, references work. And how do you do that? LinkedIn is an excellent platform. Even you can reach out while you are working as a contractual JRFSRF in these organizations. But one of the most important thing here is, you know, you should start attending a lot of government 
sponsored or industry sponsored workshops seminars conferences where these officials will come or maybe a job fair maybe a biotech fair which was recently done in delhi such stuff you have to attend so that is where these government officials will uh, you know come csir head will come um, various uh, csir lab scientists will come you have to network with them so that you are aware of the, how things work and they are aware of you and that will definitely work in your favor referrals and references are one of the strongest ways to get into government jobs and you have to accept it it's not just talent or certificates it's the referrals also so you have to build a strong network if you want to know how to do build a network you can always get in touch with me i'll guide you on that let's move on to the next point so the next point is be patient and be persistent okay now you have to know this that the government doesn't come up with vacancies every year it may come every 3 years or every 5 years so you need to stay patient okay like i told you in my previous video also stay patient stay persistent keep trying keep building your network while there is no uh, you know vacancy coming in and keep trying okay keep applying rejections will give you more insights on how you can get selected and work on that and further improve remember that government is not bothered who works for them okay but they are definitely bothered about what the right person should work for them right so you you have to justify during your selection process that you are the right person and definitely you will get through remember to always always build on your academic profile that's the most important part because whenever you will sit in the front of selection board they are going to look at that and going they are going to ask you relevant questions from that you should have answers to everything what you did why you did for example you did a crispr certification why did you do it so everything you should have a valid reason so that it doesn't it doesn't seem like you are just putting you know throwing a stone in dark instead you have a directed goal and you are a very driven person all this will work in your favor so these were some six or seven pointers which i wanted to share with all of you do let me know in the comment section what more you want to know i would definitely make video in this sequel in the series thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then take care bye bye